Hello, hello, hello. So, good morning. Hello, everybody. I just want to do a quick video about my experience. I want to tell y'all about my experience working in customer service during this pandemic. Uh, first, I just want to say a lot of y'all think this is a joke. A lot of y'all not taking this seriously. Y'all think it's a real big old joke. This is serious, you know, and I just feel like a lot of people playing around. I'm working. And I'm sorry, but all that stuff is out the window. I'm not giving you no good customer service. I'm not giving you the utmost customer. I'm not going to say I'm not going to give you no good customer service, but I'm not going to give you my eight plus customer service. Because first of all, I'm not trying to get sick, okay? I don't got no mask. I don't got no... Sometimes I have gloves. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I have hand sanitizer. Sometimes I don't. So I'm not going to put myself at risk even more because y'all want to paint because y'all bored. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all not even coming in there for essential stuff. Y'all coming in there because y'all want to paint. Y'all want to plant. Y'all want to do this. Like, this is not essential this is not essential stuff. So I'm not going to give you my great customer service. So don't don't get mad. Don't get offended. You know, I'm still going to be respectful. I'm still going to say, good morning. How you doing? Give me my six feet. Give me my six feet. Give me 10 feet. Give me 12 feet, please. Because I'm not going to be passing out dying. Because y'all, oh, and then y'all get offended. Why are you getting offended? I'm just trying to protect myself. I'm still going to say, hello, good morning. How you doing? I just don't want to hold a, a full-on conversation. I don't want you up in my face. Like, we can speak, but just keep your six feet, you know? And the other day, some customers got mad. I asked them. I said, hello, can I, can I help you? So she coming all close in my face. I'm backing up. She coming closer. I'm backing up. She coming closer. Why are you coming closer? Don't you see I'm backing up for a reason? Then it seemed like her dude started getting a little offend, offended. And it's like, why? You know, like, y'all think this is a joke or something? Like, this is serious. So, mm-mm, no, 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 sorry, not me. I'm not giving you my good customer service. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be putting myself out there like that. Then the other day, a man came in the store. He's smiling, but I could see he was following behind me. You know, sometimes I feel like, some guys will come in the store and then they'll see a girl and then they want to, you know, nah, no, that was not the time for that. That was not the time for flirting and nah, get away from me. I literally did a full 360 circle around him and he still ended up behind me. <laughs> what is you doing? Then there was another guy that came in the store the other day. This man started with sweating bullets. It's still cold up here. He, he talking about, I need an air conditioner. I'm like, well. And it was funny because my coworker, she tipped me off. She was like, I just see her eyes all big. She looking around the corner. She was like, I'm looking at her like, what's wrong with you? She was like, that man over there, he's sweating. He just, he breathing heavy. I said, oh, shit. Damn it. She was like, but he need an air conditioner. So that's on you. I said, damn it. So I went to him. I said, hello, sir. How can I help you? But I was, I had my distance. I had like 12 feet. Sir, how can I help you? He was like, I want an air conditioner. I said, do you know what kind of air conditioner? Do you want a window air conditioner? Do you want a portable air conditioner? He said, a portable. I would like a portable. I was like, do you know what size? Do you know the square feet or how many BTUs? And he was like, yeah, I want a strong one. I said, okay, I got you. I'm going to find one for you. I'm going to let you know the price. And then we'll take it from there. So I went to find out the price. The price was like seven hundred dollars. I thought it was gonna be like two, three something. So I know I'm not paying no seven hundred dollars for no air conditioner. So I figured I'll go over there and tell him the price, and he'd be like, "No, nah, that's fine," or something, you know. I told him. He said, "Yep, I'll take it." I said, "Oh shit!" <laughs> so I went. I grabbed him the cart. When I bring his product down, 
I said, all right, sir, have a good one. Rolled that car to him and sent them on his way. Then my coworker told me that there was another customer that came in the store. And she got upset because my, she, first of all, my coworker was even going to touch her phone. But the lady was like, I want to show you what I need. But, and that's another thing. They getting real uptight and angry and stuff. It's like, why y'all getting angry? Y'all chose to come in here. If I'm cashing, I cannot rush. I have to take my time because I have to make sure I scan everything accurately. So why are you getting upset at me and telling me, oh, I got to get out of here. I'm not trying to be in here too long. Well, hey, you decided to come in here, you know? And I don't tell them that, but I just be looking at them. And I be like, okay, but I ha and I, I'm thinking like, well, you decided to come in here. So why are you getting all uptight and angry with me and you in a rush? I'm not going to rush. There was a man that came in the store. I'm going to get back to that other story in a second. But there was a guy that came in the store and I was cashing. And he rolling by with a whole big bunch of stuff. Hardy back aboard, bathtubs, sinks, faucets, a lot of money. And he said to me, I pay for this. I'm, I just need to cash out for this. He has some spray cans. I said, okay, but I have to recheck the receipt. And he was like, well, I'm just trying to make this smooth as possible. I could tell he was trying to get out of here. He was getting real agitated. Okay, sir, but I still have to check your receipt. Why are you getting mad at me? Why are you getting mad at me? Just because it's going on don't mean I'm not supposed to do my job accurately. Like, I still got to do what I got to do. People be bugging nowadays. And I don't want to be up in nobody's face. I'm sorry. Like, keep your distance. But like I was saying, back to the other story. So my coworker, my coworker, some lady started screaming at her. She said, I need help. So my coworker went over there and said, how can I help you? So the lady was like, well, look, I need this, but don't touch my phone till you wash your hands. My coworker said, I wasn't going to touch your phone. She's like, well, how you going to see what I need? She said, I can still see it without touching your phone. And that's true. I can still see what you need without touching your phone. What, like, y'all be really tripping. It's like, it's serious out here, you know? It's real serious. But I got to just stick to my program and keep it going. Keep being thankful for another day. You know, that's all we can do at a time like this. But... But yeah, I'm, I'm I'm in good spirits, and I'm liking my little orange head wrap, my matching lip, lip gloss. Shout out to Riri. I love this. She honestly has the best lip gloss on the planet. Seriously, I'm not even capping. Like, um, I I tried many lip glosses, but that one right there is the bomb. But I got to head out soon. I got to go to the grocery store and get some essentials. And y'all have a good one. <laughs>